What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. So we're primarily going to be talking about the, the possibility of this movie potentially taking place a majority of it on Halloween night. Not a, not a large majority, but a great chunk of it taking place on Halloween night. Uh, that's just my thoughts on what V Renan has just tweeted. I'll, I'll get into that in a second. But what I first want to do is go over five things I hope we get to see in the trailer this week. Uh, five things I would like to see in the trailer anyway. So one being Sam and Tara and a chase scene with them. So going off of the behind the scenes images and the leaked image of Ghostface with a shotgun and the fact that we have seen Sam and Tara in a bodega, I'd like the trailer to include either some aspects of the bodega attack or a prior chase scene glimpse that just leads to Sam and Tara entering said bodega. The shotgun Gun blast would be a great touch too and i can see that instantly becoming a meme online if it hits the same notes similar to how megan dancing in the trailer went viral and became a meme and a tiktok sensation the second thing i would like to see in the trailer is gail getting her first phone call this would be such an instant iconic thing for any scream trailer because gail has never been seen on screen speaking to this voice during during any of the uh movies in the past so if a shot of a phone ringing and then we can't see who it belongs to up until the sequence reveals Gail picking it up in her apartment to say hello. And then for the first time ever, we hear, hello, Gail. You know, that just all that right there instantly is just iconic, iconic in more ways than one. Just something also that many people have been waiting to hear for the longest time. Just to hear these two communicate. I don't know if I throw a snarky remark in there from Gail, but I'd like to see this interaction in the trailer. I think closing the trailer with this would be iconic and an easy way to just build hype for uh, the tenured diehard fans like myself and many of you. The third thing I would like to see is sequences of the new characters. Obviously seeing Chad, Mindy, Tara, Ethan, and Quinn interacting would be nice to get a vibe of that set of friends will focus on going into Tara's college years seeing Tara hang out around Blackmore University to get a look at the new stomping grounds Ghostface could potentially wreak havoc at definitely would be nice to see Sam interact with David who we know is played by Josh and is a potential love interest love interest for Sam as he is the next door neighbor according to an audition tape that we saw earlier this year that I talked about establishing Josh or David rather as a red herring in the trailer might be useful too but any instances of the characters discussing the new spree, their lives post screen five and concerns about their own survival are welcome. Throw in the shot of Samara weaving too, please, because we have not seen much of her since the behind the scenes images we've seen from her. Number four would be a Sydney reference. Now, by reference, I mean something that flat out explains where she is during the film. That's something that will be able to get crazies to relax, hopefully know she's safe and hopefully find comfort in that versus wanting her life to be a nonstop roller coaster like it seems so many people do. Uh when her life is never supposed to continuously be like that she's always been working for peace so sydney has just been in every trailer since the series inception so a reference wouldn't do any harm from my perspective and it could provide a solid non-overly spoiler idea as to where she is during the movie if you are someone who is interested in that they can reference her in several ways but i just know that learning where she is and explaining her absence would satisfy a lot of fans the other thing that we need to see number five save the best for last kirby reed show us kirby reed let us see what she is up to let us get a vibe of this fbi stuff let us hear snippets of her talking about jill and charlie just to let us know she's going to mention jill and charlie let us see her interact with the characters maybe even show us her shaking it up mixing it up with ghostface to get us excited about how you're going to use her going forward into the sixth movie so just to get into the main topic of the video viewer non put out this tweet saying here's something for the ravenous scream six fans who keep asking for tidbits unlike all the other films in the series quite a lot of scream six is set on the same night as the opening scene now here's my thoughts this has to be halloween night the reason this has to be halloween night i'm assuming it's halloween night is going off of the teaser which indicates that yes it's halloween night we see people in costumes uh we see the main characters the core four and one of the new characters josh Segura's character of david on a subway uh we see jack champion's character in the background many people haven't noticed him but he's in this teaser too he's in the background his character's name is ethan we see him there so all of this seems to be set on halloween night now if this opening sequence that again seems to be revolving around a tender date and that sequence of them on a subway is all set in one night that is something that's never been done before in any of the screen movies you've never had the events that happened pro that happened after the opening sequence take place during that same night or just show so shortly after because they've always jumped to the next day in each of the subsequent each of the previous sequels they've just jumped to the next day so if you just jump to a random event 
that happens after the opening kills, that would be tremendous. Maybe this is a Halloween party. Maybe something happens at the said Halloween party. Ghostface attacks after attacking whoever it is that dies on this tender date in the opening kill. And then that is what leads to our core four with the new survivors sticking together after they have this encounter with Ghostface. Also, we could potentially see the bodega. I'm just realizing this. You could actually see the bodega attack go down during the same opening night as the opening sequence. So if this is all happening in that span of the opening sequence time frame that again is something that's very unique for the franchise that is something that's very fresh it's something that's never been done before and it makes me intrigued as to what would then happen the following day what events are happening on the following day maybe we'll get a vibe of that from the trailer obviously the f following day i would imagine is going to see is going to be us seeing our first interaction between gail and the carpenter sisters seeing gail and her life in new york seeing how she's dealing or coping with the loss of dewey getting a, a better understanding of what she's up to maybe get a sydney reference um also just kind of see what kirby is up to because we've seen these behind the scenes images of them shooting during the daytime so definitely at some point they are going to shift into the day obviously but we also have seen these people wearing what many of us thought were the same clothes some of us i remember were speculating why are they not switching clothes so if a lot of this movie takes place on the same night as the opening sequence that would explain why like so maybe the first 20 minutes of this movie are set not even first 20 maybe the first first 40 maybe 30 <laughs> maybe the first 30 minutes or so 35 even of this movie are just set on the same night as the opening kill attack and i wouldn't be mad at that because you can use the remainder of them you can you can do so much in that you can still develop the characters you can jump to the next day you can have the, the spree continue and you can have ghostface get caught and everything go on within the span of two days now some people might not like that but i see nothing wrong with that personally having this having the killing spree start on the on halloween night and then ending the night of november 1st bleeding into november 2nd i see nothing wrong with that uh so if we have a short time frame passing through in this movie i wouldn't be against it hopefully this isn't detrimental to some of the character development hopefully the pacing doesn't suffer because of this as well but we'll see how they can execute this because this would definitely be something that's ever been done before in the series let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.